Hello everyone, welcome to TechTo.com. In this illustration, we will solve problem on two-phase locking protocol. So we have various two-phase locking protocol that is we have basic 2PL, we have um, conservative 2PL, we have strict 2PL and we have rigorous 2PL. So for each of the given transaction here, we will check whether it is rigorous, strict, conservative or basic. So to start with, we can Let's start with A. So let's check for basic 2PL. So for basic 2PL, we have the restriction or we have ruled that there should be a growing phase and a shrinking phase. Okay, so we can see that here lock is acquired, lock is acquired, then lock is released and lock is released, right? So it's not violating the condition of 2PL, basic 2PL, that is when lock in locking growing phase there is no unlocking and in unlocking phase that is in shrinking phase there is no new locking okay so yes it is a basic 2pl transaction okay so it is following this protocol now let's check for conservative 2pl so conservative 2pl says that all the locks are acquired before transaction starts so you can see that this lock is acquired and then operation starts here operation of read is executed it means that all the locks are not acquired at once okay so it's not a it's not a conservative 2pl now strict 2pl so let's check for strict 2pl strict 2pl says that the exclusive locks are only released after commit right so here we have one exclusive lock and you can see that it is being released at the end but there is no commit here so if we assume that commit is after it okay then it means that the this unlock was before commit right so that is not a valid assumption or valid according to the rule right so it's not strict to pl and if it is not strict it is not rigorous also right because re rigorous has just another additional rule with strict that all the locks has to be released after commit okay now let's come to this second example so it has you can see it has growing and shrinking phase because once unlock start there is no new lock so it is basic 2pl conservative 2pl no because not all the locks are acquired at once before the transaction starts and you can see strict 2pl so let's go for exclusive locks so you can see this is exclusive lock on b and this exclusive lock is only released that is b is only unlocked after commit so yes it is strict 2pl now rigorous 2pl so in rigorous 2pl what is the additional rule that is all the locks has to be unlocked after commit so that is not true here because b was unlocked here only right so it's not rigorous 2pl now in this problem C basic 2PL no it's not basic because you can see that this is lock right here it locks and then unlock okay and then again lock so you can see there is no phase kind of thing here okay it's locking unlocking locking unlocking while we know that two phase what is the meaning of two phase that we have two strict I mean two strict definition of phases that is when locking is going on that is in growing phase no unlock will be there and when unlock starts once unlock starts there will not be any new lock so you can see here unlock starts right now after this there should not be any new lock but in the second operation only here it is acquiring a new exclusive lock right so this is violating the condition so it is not even two phase locking okay so no if it is not two phase locking then no basic 2pl no cons conservative 2pl no strict no regret regress okay so fine so i hope you understand it and if you have any other problem if you are have any other question which you are not able to solve please share it with us we would be happy to help you 
so i hope you understand it and if you have any doubt ask your question in on doubt section so in the next lecture we will learn what is graph based protocol okay so that is also kind of locking okay but it has some graph structure of locking right so we will see how it goes and how it works so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching